Hi, in this video I will show you how to curve fit data points in MATLAB. Here I'm just going to show you two examples, the linear fit and the parabolic fit. Of course you can write the code to fit any curve you want, but I will just show these two cases because they are the simplest. First, let's create a new M file. The first thing we need is a set of random data that has somewhat linear profile. To save time in the video instead of me typing, I'm just going to copy and paste the code I already wrote. Now this part of the code generates random data for us. And this part makes linear profile. And I add some noise to make it random. Now let me run the code to show what it looks like. And it's going to ask to save first. I'm going to call it fit1. And here's our random data. Next, let's remind ourselves the general form of linear equation y equals to m times x plus c, where m is the slope and c is the intercept. And to do linear fit, I use a built-in command in MATLAB called lsqcurvefit. It requires four inputs. The first one is add function f and I will show you how to create a function later in MATLAB. The second input is the initial values of constant m and c in the linear equation. Here I set them both to 0. You can pick different number but in the end we should get the same result. The third and fourth input are our random data x and y. Then this command will do the calculation and return the best fit values of the constant m and c to our random data. So I'm just going to name it constant. To create a function in MATLAB, you need another m file. So let's create another M file. And all you have to do is just type the word function followed by y equals to a function name, which I named it f in this case. And these are variables in the equation. And then in the second line, you can type in the linear equation y equals to constant number 1 times x plus constant number 2. Here constant number 1 corresponds to m and constant number 2 corresponds to c in the linear equation. And we have to save it. When you save it, make sure that you name it the same name as your function which is f in this case. And also make sure you save it in the same directory as fit one code or it will not work. Now click save. Then we can go back to fit one code. Here I'm going to type m equals to constant number one and c equals to constant number two just to show the result. And we can use those results to create the x fit and y fit data for our linear fit line. And this part of the code here is just making a plot. Now let me run the code. And here's the linear fit line. And here are the values of M and C. My next example will be the parabolic fit. Now just making another M file.
and we will do the same thing as before except now I just multiply 5 to the noise to make it even noisier and instead of linear profile now I throw in the parabolic profile as you can see the x square feature in the equation now let me run it I'm gonna call this fit to save and here's our random data next let's remind ourselves the parabolic equation so the general form is y equals to a times x minus b square plus c and to do the fit I'm going to use the same command as before except now I'm gonna name my function f2 instead of f and we have three initial values for the constant since there are three constants in the equation a b and c and let's create a function f2 in another m5 so we do the same thing but now I name my function f2 instead of f and here I just type in the general form of parabolic equation where constant number one corresponds to a constant number two corresponds to b and constant number three corresponds to c now save again the same name as your function over here so f2 click save now let's go back to fit to code again I'm just gonna type this just to show the result for a b and c and we can create x fit and y fit in the same way now this making a plot again let's run the code and here's our parabolic fit and here are the constant values of a b and c thank you for watching